Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, as you can see, we've got something from Gerber in the shop today. I know, freaking surprise, right? So stay tuned after we roll that intro, and I'm going to tell you what cool little thing came in this box. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel and you long time viewers of the channel who have yet to do it, and forgive me as soon as I'm moving the freaking camera a little bit, it seems. Wow, okay. I didn't realize I came that far undone. Um, take a look right down here. You should be seeing a little channel watermark popping up. Okay, hover over that, and as soon as it pops up, click on it, should pull up, subscribe. Knock it out the way early, and you will feel better about yourself for the rest of today. I can almost guarantee it. All right, as you saw by that opening, we're going to take a look at the Gerber Contrast Assisted Opener. And that's this guy right here. I know, right? Big freaking shock, we're taking a look at a Gerber blade. What can I say? I like them. I think they've got some good qualities on some blades and others. Well, you know, they're just fun to review. Now, this one actually impressed me for a reasonable price for an assisted opener that didn't have a crap load of serrations on there. That's seriously why I got it. Fine edge, assisted opener. Looks pretty cool. All right. Now, let's get into the stats and all the other fun, crazy stuff that we like to do. Overall length of 7.125 inches, the blade itself is 3 inches, and closed it's 4.25. Now, it does have a pretty interesting weight of 3.8 ounces. Probably due to, like, just some of the stuff it's made out of, plus the assisted opening part adds a little bit of weight. No biggie. Now, as I said, it does have plain edge. It is done in the drop point style. And it does have a very, how shall we say, budget-friendly steel of 7CR17MOV. I know, not top-end, but at least it's not 5CR, right? Now, I hope you can see in there, there is a stainless... There we go. There is a stainless steel frame in there, which is 3CR13. It does have the plunge lock... Now, this is the part I thought was funny. It has a single position pocket clip. I mean, look at how that's done. Very interesting for a Gerber blade. I just, really, really interesting. I don't see anywhere else you could have even possibly mounted it, especially with the little you know, lanyard rectangle. It is right hand carry tip down. This is what got me. They say the scales are G10. I'll be honest, it kind of felt like textured glass filled nylon to me. It, it, it did, but Gerber and some other sites say it's G10, so I'll go with that. You do have the dual thumb studs. Some really aggressive jimping up here, which is just, I think, a little bit too far up and a little bit too wide. I mean, if you look, it basically starts back here and goes this whole length of your thumb. As I said, there is a you know, little lanyard rectangle. Now, this is the strange part to me. Per Gerber's website, per Blade HQ's website, this is made in the USA. But it doesn't have the usual made in Portland on there. Now, by Amazon, it's made in China. So, I'm going to let you decide what you want to believe on that. Alright? I mean, it's a higher-end folder, so I could see where it was made in Portland, because Gerber tends to keep all the you know, the higher-end models here in the States and farm everything else out to China. No big deal. It's just kind of their practice. But let's get on to the fun stuff that we like to do here. Heavy-duty stock paper. Damn. Let's just see ya. Okay, not bad. I was able to get a little curly going. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is picking up some paper spots. All right. <laughs> Paracord!
Wow, right through that pole, no problem. Okay, hold on a sec for me. All right, now let's just do a slice test. <laughs> wow. Why not? Let's try four. Okay. Now, <laughs> welcome to the channel, a brand new ratchet strap. Its other buddy gave its life in our last video that we filmed, so, you know, onwards and upwards, right? No problem. Okay, so, we took a look at it as we usually do, and wow, it really didn't pick up any of the paracord or any of the ratchet strap on there. That's kind of cool. We took a look like we usually do at pricing. We looked on Amazon, Gerber, and Blade HQ, as I said before. On Blade HQ, it's $41.95. Over on Gerber, it's $53. Bucks. And on Amazon, it's $44.77 with free shipping. It has yet to be reviewed on Blade HQ. On Gerber's website, which you guys know by now, I don't trust their rating system. It's got four out of five stars. And over on Amazon, it's been rated 102 times with a four out of five star rating. Now, here's the fun part, guys. I haven't been doing this lately. It's about time to bring it back. Do you think this one's a noise? Or are we going to drop some F-bombs? Noise! Or some F-bombs? You know, I want to know what you're thinking. Leave me, you know, your questions, comments, love, hatred, just everything down below like you usually do. You know, we're going to have a good conversation on this guy. For some reason, Gerber Blades always seem to bring out the hatred whenever I give them a review. So let's see what we got for this one. But there we are. So, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, I want to thank you so much for taking a moment of your day to view this video. I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very flattered you chose one of my videos. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time guys who did not do it at the beginning of the video, here's your second chance at redemption. Look right down there. There's going to be a big old channel symbol popping up here in a moment. Click on that. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've beat up the subscribe button, please go ahead and destroy its little brother, the bell icon. Why? Well, that's a good question. What's well, going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time that this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up. Over here on this side of the screen. Excuse me. Over here. <laughs> there we go. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. There we go, guys. My tabletop look at the Gerber Contrast Assisted Opener. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.